What's up, Universe DPZ? Roland Solo once again, and I am here to give you some news that was uh, brought to my attention last night, and I figured, uh, let's talk about it. And today, that news is some more alien-centric news, and you guys know me, I love me some xenomorphs. But this was very, uh, in this was a very interesting uh, topic that I was like, oh, this would be interesting to see um, if they go ahead and do it. And that is uh, this news that was that has come to my attention of basically uh, the xenomorph of the alien franchise getting an animated. Let me repeat, animated series. Which wow, I didn't think Fox would actually do. I. You know, whenever I hear alien and animated, that's always like unproven ground. Like, no one talks about, you know, the idea of uh, alien being an animated franchise. It's like something, you know, people want, but uh, but Fox never did. I mean, how long did it take uh, Toho to do a Godzilla anime trilogy and fail utterly at that? So, I don't know, but... Fox, like, now it's under Disney, and you have to keep in mind, Disney has said up and down that Alien and Predator are staying uh, R-rated. They are keeping the R-rated for the Alien and Predator franchise, uh, franchises respectively, and again, they wouldn't say something like that unless they had plans for it. So, maybe, maybe this is, uh, maybe this will hold some truth to it. Um... So I'm curious as to uh, like maybe there's some weight to it. Now the other thing is that Sam Raimi, uh, that excuse me, Ridley Scott. Why do I keep wanting to say Sam Raimi? But yeah, Ridley Scott is a part of the project, um, rumored to be a part of this project. I don't know if he'll just be. He'll probably be executive producer at best. That's my guess is that he will be um, executive executive producer. That would be my uh, assessment on the situation is that he will just be uh, watching the, you know, uh, watching over it, and not really having a, not really having a lot of say, because that's the whole point of an executive producer. Your name is just a part of it. So that's where I think he stands. Now, let's talk about the idea of an alien animated series. Now, another thing I want to bring to attention is that Disney Plus... It's funny that, you know, this is kind of uh, coming out right after some news earlier in the week of Disney Plus saying, we won't just have Disney-centric things on Disney Plus. We will not have... We will also have other franchises in here. So, let's look at that. Let's look at the... Uh, let, now, keep in mind, this is just me um, with put you on your tin hats because... Uh, your tinfoil hats, because this is this shit's gonna get nuts. Um, so keep in mind from what we saw, uh, you know, from all these little news pieces. You know, first the rumored Alien animated series. Then let's move back a couple weeks earlier to uh, Disney Plus stating that they will have non Disney non Disney stuff on there. So and with their acquisition of Fox, they could have Fox stuff on there as well. Let's also look into the fact that Disney's really pushing the boundaries at points with some of their franch you know, with some of the other franchises they've acquired. Remember, they didn't edit uh, a lot of the stuff at Marvel, and I don't, th and I think they realize that there is still a fan base here. And um, let's also look at all the news that they, you know, they wouldn't say Disney wouldn't say we're keeping Alien and Predator R-rated unless they had plans for it. They wouldn't, you know, if they didn't have plans for it, they would just go, no, we wouldn't even talk about it. There's, you know, there's no need for it. There's no, like, um, there'd be no, you know, there's no place for them at the Disney, you know, the House of Mouse. So, yeah. Now, keep in mind, this is just me, this is all speculation. Let me state again, this is all speculation. But, is it just me, or does this feel a little too coincidental that we have had, um... A, a group of, you know, just line after line of news, and then this rumored alien animated series to come out, it makes one go, hmm, why would you say that unless you had something in mind? And also, the the idea of an alien animated series, I think, is something we've all wanted, and Fox, I'm surprised Fox never did, whether it be animated in an animated uh, movie form, because they did that a lot with Dead Space and Torok. I'm surprised they didn't do that with Alien and Predator. That's perfect. So, I'm just saying that uh, that uh, this all seems like this feels more than just a coincidence. But again, I'm just talking, I might be just talking crazy at this point. 
Um, but let's talk about the idea of an alien animated series. Let's talk about what would that be like if Alien was an animated series. Now, keep in mind, there's been talk of a Alien TV series um, before. Um, nothing re looks like nothing really came of that. Um, so, makes one wonder if, like, again, always keep these rumors with a grain of salt, especially after how bad Covenant did. You know, Alien Covenant did. But let's entertain the idea of Alien getting a, you know, Alien getting an animated series uh, as a franchise. What would that be like if Alien got a full-on animated series franchise? Um... There's so many ways you could do this story. You could make it an anthology series. You could make it a full-on story arc. You could, you know, you could do story arcs. You could focus on either engineers. You could focus on Amanda Ripley, uh, Ellen Ripley's daughter. You could even focus on Ellen Ripley. Ripley. It wouldn't be hard for Disney to get uh, Sigourney Weaver to voice animated Ripley. You could, vo you could have, El you know, you could have Sigourney Weaver voice Ellen Ripley and really continue her story after, you know, after, um, I guess Alien, well, not Resurrection, let's not, let's ignore that. And you could also do adaptations of Dark Horse comics. I would love to see, uh, Dead Orbit get, a, you know, get animated. I would love to see Aliens Dead Orbit get animated. Or, uh, you know, uh, what's another, what's another favorite one? Uh, Earth War. Yeah, Earth War could actually work as an entire TV series. It could totally, um, Aliens Dead, excuse me, Alien Earth War could totally work as a animated series in of itself. For those wondering what Earth War was, Earth War was a story arc in the Alien comics where Wayland yutani brought the, finally managed to bring the Xenomorph to Earth, but it got out. And as Ellen Ripley predicted, it kind they kind of spread like a plague, like real quick. They try they were they were good at containing it for a while, but the xenomorphs managed to spread like a plague real quick. And Earth was lost. Earth was lost. Yeah, Earth is lost in the Dark Horse con in the original Dark Horse Alien continuity. Earth was lost to the xenomorphs for over fifty years. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, that's no longer in continuity, I believe, because, yeah, as I recall, Aliens Resistance actually uh, has the comic opening with Amanda on Earth. Yes, a um, Alien Resistance is kind of a sequel to um, to Alien Isolation, and I'm guessing it'll be a build-up to Aliens Blackout, which I have not played, so, yeah. Uh, anywho, uh, where was I going with this? Um... Where was I? Uh, but yeah, I think it's really cool because there's so many angles you could play with, and with animation, you can really uh, push the boundaries. You can really push the boundaries with the animated, uh, with you know, with animation. You can really do some really cool stuff. You can even bring in other xenomorphs from the uh, toy lines, like the bull xenomorph, the uh, the snake xenomorph. There's so many other uh, xenomorphs you can use in. In you know, from the toy lines and original continuity, and do something cool with it. Um, hell, you could. We could even get AVP as an animated series. You know, it doesn't have to be just Alien. You could bring in elements of. Um, you could bring in elements of Prometheus and Predator in here. Like you could get do like yeah, you could totally do uh, AVP Fire and Stone. That can be a whole season. That could be a whole animated series in of itself of doing Fire and Stone. Uh, but I can understand why, if they decide not to do that, because Prometheus is not the most looked upon, nicely looked upon thing, nor is Covenant. So, you know, keep that in mind. So, it's really hard, you know, I'm really hoping it's it, it, this will be a thing. And all the other little tidbits and shreds of news just makes you go, hmm. Disney Plus not doing, you know, not just doing... Um, Disney-centric stuff, a a them coming out and saying that Alien and Predator will remain R, and now rumors of an Alien animated series. Hmm. Makes you think, right? It really does make you think. So, yeah. This is a, you know, just make you think, but again, maybe I'm just looking too deep into stuff. Uh, yeah, because I, pr I might be, who knows. But yeah, you guys tell me in the comments below. Tell us here at Comic U Universe, uh, what do you guys think of the possibility of an alien animated series 
uh, coming. Do you think you'll be on Disney Plus? Do you think you'll be on an actual network or another streaming site? Uh, what, what kind of animated series would you want it to be? Would you want it to be an anthology or like a story arc or based off one of the old Dark Horse comics? Comment below, let us know. And if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. I'm DPZ, and I'm literally looking forward to see what you guys, guys have to say this, and we will see you once more in the universe.